I'm back with another exciting snowblower adventure. So, here's the procedural history. I bought this snowblower last year. I started it, I ran it, and at the time, the pulley in the front, which is this pulley down here, the bolt was loose, and the belt wasn't straight, and then it got chewed up, and I had to pull it all apart, all the way down to the friction disc to get the belt back on. To put it back on, I've been making sure that this pulley is tight so far. This year, I started it probably, I don't know, five or six months ago. It started, it ran, it was fine. I left it. I left it with the gas in it. I don't have a gas turn off. Probably not the best idea. I did not have pump gas in it. I had av gas or aviation gas in it, 100 octane with some lead, yada, 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 yada. Anyway. This year, I go to start it, doesn't start, figure the fuel's old, it's bad, I dump it out, I change it. I go to start it, it like gives me a puff backfire, doesn't start. Pull off the carb, the bowl, clean it out, clean out the jet, yada yada. Put new gas in it, doesn't start. Go get pump gas, put pump gas in it, doesn't start. Get pissed off, pull off the thing, clean out everything inside again, put it back on. Watch a couple videos and I started getting into the overhead valve. What would happen is I would pull the starter, I would get a pop like it wanted to fire, but it wouldn't fire over, but obviously something was exploding. Check the spark plug, got a new spark plug, got a spark plug tester. So now we're at the point of the valves. I pulled off the valves to see what the distance was and the spacers and all that. And what I came to realize is this valve, which is the exhaust side valve, seemed like it was stuck down or open which would make sense if i was pulling it it would backfire it wouldn't give it the suction because every time i tried to suck in it would pull outside air and i would get the backfire so i sprayed some wd-40 down on the side of the valve there pulled it out and tried to loosen it and now i can push it in with my thumb and if i grab it here hopefully you can see this pulls back nice and easy feels good so um, I'm gonna put it all back together with the cover on it we'll prime it up we'll see if it starts hopefully that was the issue it all right of course the memory card was full so that fucking died so just to recap the valve up here was stuck in I sprayed some lubricant in the back of it Pushed it in, pulled it out, pushed it in, pulled it out. So now my thumb, basically, I can push it in and out. So if that was stuck, that could be the issue I was having where when I pulled it, it would just backfire, not get any suction to pull any more gas in and fire again. I'm going to button it up and you'll see if I'm happy or pissed off. Exciting, isn't it? So we're back. So we got the valve cover back on. The spring, spring goes over the lever, the little cup goes onto the spring, the valves get seated, tightened, and then adjusted. So they say, there's different manufacturer specs, I read everything from 5 one thousandths, or if it's 5 one hundredths, point zero zero five to zero zero seven to zero zero twelve. So what I did is I just put them tight, and then I just backed them off on the nut, like a quarter to a half, maybe like a third of the way which is usually about seven thousandths of an inch, depending if it's a fine thread knot. Anyway, not exact science, but we're gonna see how it does. I blew in the primer hole. This is your key socket. You know, when these are together, there's a metal thing that keeps closed. The key splits these connections so that you'll get spark to start it. We're on high, our choke is open. We're gonna give it a pull and see if she'll backfire or if she'll run. Well, there you have it. No backfire started up on a slight second easy pull. So clearly the problem was that valve sticking in the overhead valve. Now, let me walk around because I know it's kind of loud. I could not find anything on YouTube that would help me figure out what the problem was. Everybody was like, oh, it's the carburetor, oh, it's the spark plug. If you do your carburetor, you do your spark plug, Take those four screws off, check those valves, see if those valves are moving or if they're stuck. 
Take care.